some good news. Yes, good news. Good pictures too. The Menindee Lake system in the far west of New South Wales has reached capacity for the first time in a decade. 1,000 kilometres from Sydney, the site was put on the map in 19 or 2019 after several mass fish kills, a result of prolonged drought and low water levels. Today, the equivalent of three Sydney harbours has filled the lake system and locals are over the moon, apparently. Melinda Pavey is the New South Wales Minister for Water and she joins me from Coffs Harbour on the mid-north coast. Minister, thank you very much for your time. Hey, Chris, and they said it'd never rain again. Yeah, um, we've been <laughs> preoccupied, I guess, with COVID and lockdowns, etc. But the news from Men Menindee is significant and terrific, isn't it? Oh, it's just magnificent. Those pictures are incredible. I was out there in April uh, when we opened the gates uh, with the community to let the water to start flowing in. So we've just had the most glorious rains through the Warrego, up into, far, you know, to Queensland, Western Queensland, through that very far western part of New South Wales. It's a picture um, and just water is life out there uh, for the communities to go fishing, to have fun, for the farmers. Just it, it, it's... It's their tranquility, it's their place to have fun and to, to see it full to the brim is really exciting. And there's a little bit more to come, I hear. Yeah, I mean, we've got La Nina predictions, really good rains for the next 12 months. I mean, we've got every dam full to overflowing in New South Wales. Wyangla Dam, it's been spilling for a couple of weeks and, uh, you know, we've, we've got the plans and we're doing all the homework to build that dam by an extra 650 gigalitres, also Dungowan Dam. And I think the message here is that, you know, we're going to have, you know, droughts continuing and it's important that we don't take the, the foot off the throttle when it comes to planning the, the next uh, series of dams so that we can manage climate change, those extra droughts, but those extra periods of heavy rainfall. So you were talking about the collection of water which headed to Menindee. From Menindee Lakes, are there flows from there into the, you know, the Darling Murray system? Yeah, so um, the Darling or the Barker uh, flows into Menindee uh, and then it goes down to the Lower Darling, uh, then into the Murray, uh, where the Murrumbidgee also um, meet at, at, uh, into the Murray. So at Wentworth, the Darling and the Murray come together. Um, and the amount of fish that are breeding out there at the moment is incredible. It's, I've been told it's like a baby fish feedlot for golden perch, uh, for the Murray cod. We want them to take over the waterways and get rid of the carp, um, and a healthy river system helps in that. Um, and the best thing for a healthy river system is a lot of water and a lot of falls. Um, so it's good news for the environment at the moment, and it's great news for farmers as well. We've got record crops all over New South Wales. Uh, we need to be able to, to, to feed ourselves and export so much of what we do out in far western New South Wales. Uh, an exciting time. Good to have some good news. I want to ask you about your lockdown. Your seat of Oxley covers the area of Kempsey, back in lockdown. Um, it, it's hard to fathom when you're in the bush, and I have been there when a lockdown has occurred because you think you're in wide open spaces, the most easily social distancing you could possibly wish for, and yet you've got to stay inside. Uh, yeah, it's pretty tough, but there's a lot of people getting their exercise and doing the walking and, you know, it's really hard for Kempsey. At the moment, I've got four local government areas that I represent and, you know, people did the wrong thing. Uh, and they went to Sydney and they came back and they brought the dreaded Delta with them. Um, and the community is paying the price for that. So, you know, it, it's, it's a really frustrating, but really excited with the vaccination rates. We're hitting 80% uh, single dose. Uh, and we've got Moderna hitting our pharmacies next week. Uh, that's been the game changer as far as the regions and the bush is concerned. Just get into your pharmacy, make your bookings, and uh, you'll have the Moderna, which is the equivalent of the Pfizer. Um, we've just been really blessed having um, pharmacies come on board with our local health districts and GPs getting those vaccines. We've got to get to 80 and above and that's when we can get back to some sort of normal. Melinda Pavey, thank you for your time. Thank you.